the whole picture of the training kit basic. Power up the training kit basic. Step 1. Choose language. Step 2. Choose connect using wired network. Step 3. Choose auto discovery. Step 4. Hypanel Pro is the home center, in the training kit basic. Hypanel Pro is the home center and Hypanel Lite acts as the sub gateway. Step 5. Confirm the setups. Step 6. The startup configuration of Hypanel Lite is almost the same as that of Hypanel Pro, except that Hypanel Lite needs to be selected as sub gateway. Add smart devices. Put the Hypanel device into scanning state. Trigger the networking status of the two gang switch. Poke the hole with a card tray pin and press and hold until the blue light flashes. Then the switch icon appears on high panel device. Click the icon, you can modify the name and room, and then click save. Find the added device in the device list and test to check if it can work normally. Trigger the networking status of the curtain motor. Press and hold the black button until the light turns blue and flashes. Then the curtain motor icon appears on high panel device. You can modify the name and room, and then click save. Find the added device in the device list and test to check if it can work normally. Trigger the networking status of the ZigBee light strip. Turn on the switch on the right side of the light strip. The light strip is white and flashes continuously. It is in the networking state. Then the RGB light icon appears on high panel device. Click the icon, you can modify the name and room, and then click done to save. Find the added device in the device list and test to check if it can work normally. Enter the details page of the RGB light to adjust the brightness and color of the light. The steps for adding smart devices in Training Kit Basic for High Panel Light are the same as for High Panel Pro. Want to use KS41 to add smart devices? You can still refer to the video in this section. Find contacts on High Panel Pro. Click High Panel Light. You can call high panel light or send it audio and text messages. During a call, you can adjust the volume or turn off the microphone. The procedure for calling high panel pro using high panel light remains the same. The training kit basic also provides with two network cables, which are convenient for connecting extra devices, such as door phone, AP panels, etc. In order to keep door phone and other devices in the same LAN, plug the network cable into AccuVox E12 and wait for it to boot. Click the button on E12 to call High Panel Pro and High Panel Lite. During a call, you can adjust the volume or turn off the microphone, and High Panel Pro can also control the E12 to open the door. If a device with a camera is connected to the home, the camera's live monitoring streams can be viewed on High Panel Pro. High Panel Lite supports the configuration of shortcut switches or scenes on the four physical buttons. This is the scenario where you configure the keys to turn all devices on or off. To configure the key control function of High Panel Lite, go to Setting, System Settings, Key Control Screen. Thank you for your watching.